Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this Christmas card. I made this Christmas card using a really old set. I never used this set last year. It's Night in Bethlehem. And I am going to use Mary and Joseph and the star in this one. The Merry Christmas comes from Star of Light. I just like the font on that one. I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of white cardstock with the sentiment, hoping the season builds heartwarming memories, like the rest of the cards I've made. And that was five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of night and navy at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters and I have a second largest nesting dive that you got with freezer bird or you could get them on their own but these that's the second largest and I've also cut out a piece of night and navy so I can frame it by hand because I didn't want to cut the largest one out because it would have left a great big gap and I didn't want a big gap and this measures two and five eighths by four and five eighths and once I've stamped on it I shall stick it down and then cut out the edges so we need to stamp on that and on that. Oh, I'm also using the stars that are in this set. So I'll bring up a scrap of card and we're going to stamp the star background. Now my night night in navy is really juicy so I've got to be careful I don't over stamp my stamp and what I did I did each corner first and then I did one in the middle and then I filled in around the edges Can't remember how I've done it. It's always the case, isn't it? Don't need to do this bit. Just want to try and get one there. <coughs> when you lay that over there, that's Don't need to do the middle. That's fine. Right. Right, the next part, the star and Mary and Joseph, I'm actually going to use my stamp position. My Hampton Art one because sometimes the stamp takes and sometimes it doesn't. So, doing this, at least I'll be able to stamp over it again. So, I'm going to have Mary and Joseph there. And the stamp, I'll have to do afterwards. So, pick it up and ink it up in night and navy and 
dump it down. Can't remember how many times I did it before. Right, I'm going to do it again because the donkey is not covered. That's nice. So, clean my stamp. You can't see this this side, can you? Right, and with my star, place that there, pick it up. Now I'm going to move it over a little bit. You can just see it. Right, this has gone on the edge. Do it once more. There we are. That's turned out really well. So clean this up. Put that there. I'm sure you've all seen that stamp position before, but if you haven't, this one is quite a large one. This one's a 10 by 10 on the outside. Stamping is 8 by 8. I actually got this from Create and Craft for, I might be wrong here, I don't know if it was 12 99 or 17.99. They had a special offer on, and that's why I got that, because... It's bigger than my other one. And this one is a 5x7. Stamping is 5x7. But 7x8 um, I think the size is. And this was my first one. I've used it quite a lot. But I couldn't do square 6x6 in it. And so I got this on when I was told about a sale on Create and Craft. And I think, no, not Create and Craft, sorry, Hochanda. Hochanda, they're on the Craft Channel on the telly. Um, so, yeah, one of my stamping girls from my uh, stamping class I run, when I'm allowed to, um, she told me about the sale on, so I think all of us got one. Because they were so cheap. Usually they retail about 30 odd pound. And we got them for under 20 pound. And this is the first time I've used it in absolutely ages. So, right, I'm going to stamp on, shut me ink again. My Merry Christmas. Under there and just stamp it down. Like that. So that is our stamping done. Now it's just a matter of putting it all together. So we'll glue our top layer onto our bottom layer. Now when I made the first card uh, yesterday, I was absolutely covered 
in blue ink. Look. I was worse than that yesterday. Tell you. I don't know what I was doing. I think it was just the blue ink on the wet wipe I used. Oh. I don't know if I scored that, but score it again anyway. Right. Put the inside in. Like this, I'm going to stick it down on this piece of card, leaving a nice edge on the sides here. Can you see that? And then all I'm going to do with a pair of scissors is trim this tops down leaving a nice edge same at the bottom And there we have a nice border round our card. Which we're going to stick on dimensionals. We've gone through a few dimensionals filming today, that's for sure. Okay, and I forgot a packet left. Got an order coming. What's today? Sunday the eighth. Oh, it's my wedding anniversary tomorrow. Monday the ninth. Forty-six years. Come off my topic. Um. Yeah, my order should come. Either Monday or Tuesday. Right. Now we've just got to stick a gem on the card. Now I've got this nice large crystal gem which I'm going to stick right in the middle of the star. That's the only gem I'm putting on there. There we have it, a nice uh, Christmas card, true Christmas card, about Mary and Joseph. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the um, notification button, you'll be notified of whenever I upload more videos, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.